Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're doing something a little bit different. This is a technical discussion video and we're going to be looking specifically at the 15 second rule uh, for the Audi S4, B6 and B7 models. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the 15 second rule, we'll add a link for you. It'll either be on the screen or below this video in the information section. Uh, so with that in mind, let's move on. So we originally added the 15 second rule video to YouTube uh, about two or three weeks ago. And uh, we've had uh, quite a lot of uh, controversy, quite a lot of comments, etc., um, debating whether or whether or not this uh, this process can actually work and, and things of that nature. So this video we've put together today is specifically to kind of address that. OK, so what we've done with the 15 second video, well, we've given it a quick re-edit and added it to YouTube again as a fresh video. Uh, there was one part of the video um, that was kind of... Um, Try to kind of simplify it if you like and I think it was uh, very misleading uh, in its content and uh, I do agree with a lot of the comments uh, that kind of um, mentioned uh, mentioned to that effect and so we, uh, we've edited uh, one uh, kind of line if you like uh, out of that uh, out of that video and that was uh, the suggestion uh, that the 15 second rule is building uh, oil pressure uh, prior to uh, starting the engine. So that's literally the only part of it uh, that we've removed. Uh, all the rest of the video is um, uh, completely uh, as it was before and uh, we do stand absolutely resolute uh, that this 15 second rule does either eliminate or greatly reduce that cold start up rattle. So yes, we do stand resolute that this technique does actually work. Uh, however, perhaps not for the reasons that you first might expect. OK, so very quickly, right at the start, let's look at the uh, technical service bulletin from Audi. This is their official TSB uh, that relates to the uh, cold startup rattle. Uh, they say the camshaft adjustment is hydraulically adjusted and controlled by engine oil pressure. If the engine has been turned off for a long time, the oil pressure drops down and the oil partially flows back into the oil sump. To ensure an efficient uh, camshaft adjustment right after an engine cold start, the oil pressure inside the camshaft adjusters must be built up as fast as possible. During this time, a rattle or knocking noise may be noticeable. Uh, this noise is normally at engine start and will last until the oil pressure is fully built up, which takes about one to two seconds. And uh, an important thing they add on to the end of that is there is no applicable production solution. So the problem does definitely exist. Uh, hopefully nobody who's watching this or putting uh, comments on this is kind of debating that side of it. Uh, what we really need to look at is can this 15 second rule actually work bearing that in mind? OK, so the first thing I want to point out before we get into kind of some of the more uh, technical elements of it is the reason for why this works. Now, hands on heart, I do not know uh, the exact reason why this works currently. However, I stand resolute that it does greatly reduce that rattle or even eliminate that uh, cold start rattle. Now I've not had as much time uh, to look into this as I would have liked. I am flat out at the moment. I've got quite a lot of things happening in both my business and personal life and it's all a bit crazy at the moment. Uh, so I do apologise. I've only had two or three hours to really kind of sit down, uh, do a bit of research on this and then throw this video together quickly for you. Uh, but I did want to get this video up uh, as quickly as I could. Uh, because uh, obviously a lot of people have um, uh, been making comments and have questions and things of that nature and so I didn't want to leave you hanging. But despite the fact that I've not had uh, as much time as I, as I would have liked, uh, we do have some very, very interesting things to throw into the mix. So let's do that. So one of the big things that I'd like to uh, point out with regards to this, uh, this phenomena of the 15 second rule is uh, I certainly didn't invent it uh, and there are many other people out there who uh, actually say exactly the same thing. So it's not just me uh, going onto YouTube and putting this out there. Lots of other people have already experienced this, which is what we're going to look at. Uh, so again, uh, I haven't been able to, uh, to delve as deeply into it as I'd like, uh, but I know that over the years I've seen literally dozens of people reporting this. So I've done a quick search uh, in the two or three hours I had allotted to me and I've managed to track some of them down. So let's look at what some of the other people have got to say about this 15 second rule. So the first comment we've got is uh, from Sunny4 and this is back in 2009. Uh, he says, the car is priming stuff when you put the key in and turn it to on. I wait until it's done with everything before I turn the key to start it. When I don't, it rattles a lot more. And another one, we have a chap called Steelman in 2013. Uh, he says, if I wait an extra five to 10 seconds before actually starting the car, nine times out of 10, there's no rattle. I make it a point to turn the switch on, wait four to five seconds while the system comes online, then turn the engine over. And for some odd reason, I tend not to get the rattle nearly as much. Is it priming the engine? No because the engine is not turning over. 
another one we had, uh, uh, Rocky.ca from 2013. Uh, try turning on your car, waiting about 10 seconds or until the seat belt light goes off, and then starting your car. Seems to virtually eliminate all startup rattle, for me at least. And another one for you that I came across, uh, 98 Champ from 2013. I might get a second of rattle on a cold morning or if it's been sitting for a couple of days if I turn the key immediately. But if I turn the key and wait five plus seconds before starting, I have zero rattle every time. I have no explanation as to why this happens. And the final comment that we'll look at quickly is actually one of our subscribers on the YouTube channel. Uh, unfortunately, most of the comments that we received uh, don't appear to be from people that have actually got an S4 on which they are able to, to test this for themselves, uh, apart from this chap here, uh, Richard Henry. And he says, must, it must do something because it definitely has a noticeable difference on mine between doing this and not. Maybe it's not oil pressure, but it is something. So that's just a selection that I could find over uh, a few hours. I know that there's more out there. I found one about two weeks ago, a uh, chap with an Audi Q7 who's got exactly the same problem, the Q7 uh, 4.2 V8, that's quite popular in, in America and Canada. Uh, also has a very, very similar engine to the, um, uh, the BBK that's in the uh, Audi S4, and he reported exactly the, the same thing on the Q7 as well. And I saw that about two weeks ago, but I couldn't really find it in the time that I had allotted, but I know that I've seen quite a few other reports of the same thing. And if you go and do your own research, you can probably find additional examples of that as well. I'll have the links for these, uh, for these uh, forum posts uh, in the information section below this video, so you can go and uh, check them out for yourselves. So with that in mind, hopefully most people will agree it's not an isolated incident and lots of other people have found this exact same phenomena happening in their Audi S4. But the question remains, can this work? And if so, how does it work? So the first thing that I consider obviously is the cam chain tensioners as per the Audi um, technical service bulletin. But the oil pump on the Audi S4 is mechanical, not electrical. Uh, so without the crank turning, uh, there's going to be no oil pressure built up inside that engine. So next I thought, well, could it be something maybe to do with the, uh, the starter motor? If it's uh, kind of almost priming, taking that tiny little bit of, um, not actually cranking, but is initially kind of taking a, a, up that tiny little, tiny little bit of slack, almost going to a reset section. But not really, because these starter motors uh, obviously work under the solenoid and they tend to be given uh, all or nothing with regards to the, um, uh, the uh, electrical input. So I think, uh, again, that's going to be very, very unlikely on these. So I thought, OK, well, if the oil's not getting um, pumped up uh, around the engine from the, uh, from the oil pump, uh, then could it be that uh, lubrication uh, of some sort is uh, stopping the, uh, the cam chains rattling? Uh, and perhaps coming from the top of the engine rather from the bottom. And this kind of led me on a slightly interesting uh, train of thought because uh, obviously a lot of you guys are very experienced uh, with, these, uh, with these cars and these engines and you'll know for yourselves uh, when you're doing the, uh, the oil changes on these you can get a really, really bad uh, rattle uh, when you first um, uh, start the engine up after the oil change. And I've, again, I did a quick bit of research and I managed to find a couple of people um, saying exactly the wording to this effect. So you'll probably already be familiar with this um, if you've done the oil changes before. Uh, but as, an, as a sake, for sake of an example, uh, I found a chap called Steve Miller on, uh, in 2016 uh, on one of the forums. And he reported, uh, when I started it after the oil change, I heard a very loud chain rattle. I have heard the occasional cold rattle on this car, but it sounded a lot worse and was for about two seconds rather than less than one second. And uh, in reply to that, a chap called uh, Badger uh, replied to uh, his posting. And uh, he also agreed with that and said, uh, the first start after an oil change is always a bit rough for me as well, especially if the car drains for a while. And I've experienced this uh, several times myself. Uh, when you do the oil change on these, you start the car up, you get a really, really horrible sounding uh, rattle. It, um, it makes you feel sick thinking what's actually going on inside that engine uh, when it does that. But what I have found, and again, I really don't want to add um, fuel to the fire and uh, try and create more controversy, uh, but with regards to the oil change, what I have found is if you put the key in, turn it to position two after you've done your full oil change, and I leave it for about 60 seconds, and then I, then I start it, and you don't get that really, really nasty uh, rattle uh, that, you, um, that you tend to get if you just fire it up straight away. 
Um, so again, uh, that in itself is uh, is quite is quite interesting. Is is there something uh, happening to lubricate those change in, in in a different way that relates back to this kind of cold start fifteen second rule? So in theory, is there a, a process uh, that occurs when you turn that key to position two uh, that could allow oil to to drain down through the uh, engine uh, onto the uh, onto the cam chains? Um, again, this is something that I've not looked into in in any great depth. Uh, I hope to, uh, but I just have not had the time at the moment. Uh, but some of you guys might well know already uh, is, this, is this something that you could throw into the mix please do add your comments on this below and this leads me on to the next thing which for the sake of this video I am going to call the phantom rattle effect and I was thinking what, what else um, actually happens when you uh, when you put that key and you turn it to position two one of the things I thought of is uh, maybe the um, intake manifold which has a, a flap system in it uh, maybe that cycles and so I thought well could that in some way be related to um, to the, the kind of rattle noise and so I did a little bit of research and I came across a really really interesting post on one of the forums that relates directly to this and it makes for good reading it's quite long uh, but let's go through it okay so this is uh, from a chap called uh, Brian G uh, again there's a link to this uh, below and this was back in 2007 and it reads as follows uh, I've complained about an engine rattle that happens about 50% of the time uh, for just a couple of seconds immediately after startup. I had chalked it up to the timing chain hydraulic tensioners and the technical service bulletin that describes that noise. But as the sound continued to get worse and more annoying, I pushed my dealer harder to find a solution. I was there with them and the service manager, the dealer's best tech and the Audi regional tech uh, rep uh, started the car to listen for the noise. Luckily the noise happened that time and the tech rep immediately said that the noise was coming from the intake manifold. It turns out that the sound is the flap inside the manifold. For some reason the flap is slapping open and shut a couple of times when it shouldn't. Uh, he then went on to say um, that they'd uh, done a few things at the Audi dealership to try and fix it uh, and hadn't had any luck. But I found that post uh, particularly interesting, so I del delved a little deeper into this and I found an Audi technical service bulletin uh, that refers uh, directly to this specific fault. Now interestingly, the uh, technical service bulletin from Audi is dated December the 17th of 2008, uh, which is uh, well over a year after this, uh, this Brian G was trying to have his, his car uh, fixed uh, at the Audi main dealer. Uh, and also, interestingly, it's also right at the very, kind of very end of the uh, production of the uh, the B7S4. They'd have been going on to the uh, the, the, the B8 um, by the time this technical service uh, bulletin would have been in a kind of a circulation, if you like. Uh, but let's have a look through it. It's actually very interesting. Technical service bulletin uh, rattling from intake manifold release date December 17th, uh, 2008. Sporadic hard metallic rattling sound from intake manifold only after first cold start, audible for one to two seconds. Technical background. Early activation of the vacuum solenoid valves for the variable intake manifold by the engine control module. During cold engine starts may cause the internal intake flaps to vibrate and create a brief rattling sound from the intake manifold. Production solution. New software in engine control module resolved in the intake manifold rattling issue. So it would appear from this that Audi are fully aware of a, a cold start rattling noise that comes from the intake manifold on these cars. However, as I mentioned before, this was released in December of 2008. And so it's highly unlikely that there were any uh, B6, well, definitely not B6s, highly unlikely there will be any B7 uh, S4s uh, that actually came from the factory with that updated uh, ECU software pre-installed. It's possible, of course, uh, that the uh, engine control module could be um, updated uh, at a later time uh, by an, an Audi main dealer, but it's not necessarily a compulsory update, so it's something that they might not do unless you specifically tell them that you're having this specific issue. So I can only really assume that that uh, software update is in some way going to change the, the kind of the, the the timing or the process that the intake manifold uh, flap um, undertakes. 
Uh, exactly how it does that I don't know, uh, but obviously whatever it does is going to have a, a similar result if this is correct to the um, uh, the process of putting that key in and allowing that delay uh, whatever whatever happens to the intake manifold if this is the correct solution which it may not be whatever happens during that time the software updates it to kind of almost uh, give it that that same effect if, if that makes any sense uh, but it seems to be purely a, a kind of a, a software solution and again I don't want to put more fuel on the fire I don't want to make it more controversial uh, but if this is correct then of course there could potentially be two completely unrelated reasons why you may experience a rattle upon cold start. Now I recall seeing reports on the forums from people who have experienced the cold start rattle I assumed uh, naturally this the, uh, the cam chain tensioners have actually had the work done the engines come out of the car uh, the work's been done and put back in and they have still experienced the rattle uh, even once the work has been done and that engine's back in the car. Now assuming that those uh, people have, have told the truth and uh, I have seen a few reports of it over the years so I, I would expect there to be some truth in it of an engine uh, rattling, being removed, put back in and still experiencing that rattle. This uh, kind of intake manifold issue uh, could explain that phenomenon. Now it seems to be that the technical service bulletin uh, that relates to the cam chain tensioners uh, is far more well known uh, than this uh, one that relates to the intake manifold. Now that could be because the, uh, that technical service bulletin is, is older but for some reason it definitely seems to be uh, the more well recognised uh, solution for this particular problem. But could it be the case that people who are experiencing a rattle upon cold startup are doing so via the uh, intake manifold issue therefore having nothing at all to do with the cam chain tensioners. Again, I'm going to take a step back. I've not had enough time to research this as thoroughly as I would like. I'm just throwing it into the arena as a possible concept for you people to discuss. This is exactly what this video is for. Uh, yes, there we have this video, but the bigger part of it is to scroll down and look at the comments below this video. Uh, please do add as many comments as, as you like, please do discuss it, please do get involved, all the points that are raised in this and anything else that you can think of uh, besides. We really do welcome your comments on this. So to sum up, um, should this be related to the, uh, the intake manifold, uh, then of course the uh, 15 second rule um, is not going to do anything um, to prolong the life of your cam chains. However, it will um, stop the, uh, the rattle by mimicking uh, whatever the kind of Audi um, software update actually does. Uh, but if it is in some way uh, lubrication uh, related uh, with uh, oil um, likely coming down from, from the top in, in some manner, um, then again, that uh, definitely could uh, help prolong the, uh, the life of, of the cam chains. But unfortunately guys, at this particular moment in time, I don't have uh, all of the answers uh, for exactly how and why this works. Uh, but I'm throwing this out for you uh, again to discuss. This is your opportunity to go scroll down and actually make some uh, positive comments and try and work this out between you. There's a lot of knowledge uh, from you guys uh, out there clearly on some of the comments, some very well uh, educated comments. You guys clearly know what you're talking about. So between you, you should be able to sit down and uh, kind of uh, thrash this out and uh, argue with yourselves over it and trying to, trying to work out what's, what exactly is going on here. Uh, and as I get a bit more time, hopefully, um, I'll, I'll be able to come back and uh, throw in some extra input as well. So please do be sure to leave your comments below, your thoughts, your theories, uh, whatever they may be. Uh, everything is welcome. Please do try and keep them uh, constructive, um, whether you agree with it or not. Please just don't say, oh, this is a load of rubbish, this can't work. Say, this is a load of rubbish, it can't work because of A, B or C. Uh, you know, try and help people out. You know, this is for the sake of other people that are reading uh, this as well as yourself. So please do try and be constructive and, and hopefully you guys will come up with a, a good uh, solution for this and we can make this a positive experience uh, for everyone. Uh, so that's it guys. Uh, like I say, when I get a bit more time, I'm going to look into this uh, a little bit more deeply again, uh, but that's literally all I can do at the moment. So we'll see you on the next video and we'll be in touch soon. Thank you.